Here are 22 of my personal picks of October, some of the best aren't even available on Steam. Hi guys, welcome back to my top picks of October 2023. Today we are gonna take a closer look at some of the most anticipated games upcoming in October 2023. We'll arrange them by genre. Let's start with platformers. First item on the menu is River City Rival Showdown. The game brings back childhood memories. It is a remake of the 3DS game, originally released in 2016. The game features multiple endings, an RPG-based progression system. Select from a bountiful roster of hardened hitters in the 2D fighting game mode. You'll see improved graphics and enhanced special attacks that evolves the Junio Kun series in a new, exciting direction. Don't miss out on this one if you are a River City fan. Next we have Sonic Superstars, a 3D for player co-op game which retains the classic Sonic to decide scrolling action platform. The game features classic abilities, such as Tails Flight and Kukli's Climbing. You can customize playable character for battle mode, offering the chance to personalize your gaming experience. Both of the previous two games feature co-op. Share your happy childhood memory with friends, which sounds great, but they are a little out of my price range. Remember back in the days, when there were tons of fun flash games? Well, guess what the next game is? Strike Force Heroes, remake of the classic flash game. Four playable classes, each with special skills and attributes, hundreds of weapons. Choose your loadout, enhanced graphics with a compelling story, animated cutscenes with full voice acting. Most importantly, the game offers co-op and PvP online multiplayer. I don't know about you guys, but my childhood is back. Super Mario Bros. Wonder, confirmed for months before its launch. A Switch exclusive, it's included on my list, because it deserves to be. Jump into the, the next evolution of Mario Fawn. Besides the new power-ups, Elephant Fruit, Bubble Flower and Drill Mushroom, there are badges that add special abilities such as High Jump, Glide, Kyb, and Grappling, so Mario and friends can go to a lot of different places, and the level designs are trippy as hell. There are a total of 6 worlds to explore. The game supports for player local co-op. Playable characters don't have that much difference, but you can give them special abilities using badges. It's been 40 years since the first platformer, and yet Nintendo is still able to surprise us. Kudos to their creative ideas. Let's move on to the next genre. Two highly anticipated games caught my attention. This indie game is from Devolver Digital. Wizard with a gun? Looks like don't starve with a combat system. Explore and uncover different parts of the magical wilderness. Build out your tower, design weapons, bullets and fight against dangerous creatures. The game focuses on combat. It's similar to the roguelike gameplay of Cold of the Lamb. It supports online co-op, combined magic and creativity with a friend. We talked about this game back in May. Endless Dungeon, brought by the team behind for X strategy game Humankind. A roguelike tower defense, set in the award-winning Endless Universe. The developer has revealed six playable characters so far. Protect your crystal against never-ending waves of monsters. Choose your route wisely. The game features a colorful, dynamic art style. For the characters, action and even the visual effects, it's just the right combination for an immersive roguelike experience. The developer will roll out new characters and maps in the near future. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Moving on to car simulation games. A reboot for the original Forza Motorsport title, succeeding Forza Motorsport 7. Forza Horizon fans, who are into pro-style track racing, need to check this one out. The game will launch with 20 tracks, using highly detailed photogrammetry and laser scanning. Every track boasts 10 times more detail than previous entries. Forza Motorsport will feature over 500 cars at launch. With 30 new cars, the car upgrade system allows you to change the look of a car and improve its performance which makes the game worth replaying. If you take a closer look at the latest trailer, you would see that the older models look bland. We'll stop after 90 degrees which is not realistic. I hope these issues would be addressed. After the game's official release, it will be available on XGP after all. Another truck simulator 
has more than 30 KS followers on Steam. Alaskan Road Truckers The game implements dynamic weather systems and day and night cycles. It's not as casual as American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator. Alaska is a region of the world that has an incredibly varied climate. You'll have to deal with bad weather in the game. Repairing your truck under extreme weather is also a challenge. Maintain your truck to keep it on the road. Become a trucking legend and get your cargo to its destination on time. Moving on to other simulators. Station to Station, a voxel-based railroad building simulator. Your world starts small with a handful of rural structures. Create connections to foster growth and expansion. Build and watch your triangle world come to life. The gorgeous visuals give the game a miniature look. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. Next we have the most anticipated game upcoming in October on Steam. Cities, Skylines 2, with more than 160ks followers and still counting. The previous game launched in 2015 and still has 93% positive reviews as of now. It surpassed the classic SimCity to become the most popular city builder. With the addition of numerous mods, the new game will have enhanced traffic, building construction and environment, more zoned buildings, landmarks, better landscape, enhanced traffic control, and many more features than its predecessor. Highway designs are more simplistic, Lakes, hues and weather elements are more realistic, raise a city from the ground up and transform it into a thriving metropolis with the most realistic city builder ever. With deep simulation and a living economy, the game delivers world building without limits. Moving on to strategy games. At the top of my list would be The Lamplighter's League, published by Paradox Interactive and XCOM-like extravaganza, recruit a team of misfits with unique abilities and unforgettable personalities, and chase the banished court to the ends of the earth. Sneak past enemies in real-time infiltration gameplay. Like in Commandos, pick off the stragglers quickly and position your squad to get an edge for the fight. There are hazards and objects that can be used to your benefit or to your demise, so keep an eye on the ground and objects around the battlefield. These two months are gonna keep fans of strategy games busy. Lamplighters leak for this month and Persona 5 Tactica upcoming next month. This one hasn't scheduled for a release date yet. Toe War Pharaoh Warhammer is known for stats issues, imbalance, and expensive DLCs. He received a mixed review with 61% positive ratings, with the most recent DLC priced at $24.99. Its rating is expected to drop again. I hope Creative Assembly make better marketing decisions in the future. Pharaoh is available for pre-order. Keep your fingers crossed for this one. Next category is RPG, and we pick for games in this genre. A looter shooter, in JRPG, a CRPG and one sounds like for player co-op PV looter shooter, Gains of Sherwood, a majority of the Gus titles released in the past two years are pretty terrible, but there are also good games like Remnant 2. This game features plenty of attacks and bombastic looking action, besides numerous equipments, fun levels and character progression. The unique character design and combat style have certainly caught my attention. Bandai Namco releases a Sword Art Online title every two years. The game's controls have been simplified and improved over its predecessor. It's based on an all-new world of Underworld story arc. Players will explore and battle within the Dark Territory, boasts a brand new, original storyline. Alicization Lycoris received a mixed review. I guess a lot of people were interested simply because of the anime. It's rare to stumble upon a decent CRPG. Dark Envoy is brought by the team behind Tower of Tides, which was a good game. Nowadays CRPGs are more centered on turn-based combat, or support swapping between modes like Pathfinder and Pillars of Eternity. Real-time combat causes time for a more precise control, but it requires players to make sound decisions under time pressure. That's probably why some players prefer turn-based combat instead. Dark Envoy features hand-drawn spell system, allowing more freedom, complete campaign and online co-op mode. The game is set in a guns and sorcery coexisting world. The environment and character designs are eye-catching. I hope the story is compelling as well. I was a little surprised that Lords of the Fallen gameplay trailer gets a mature 17 plus rating. You can image how much darker this game is compared to From Software sounds like titles. The game is set into parallel worlds. If you die in Axiom, you're able to respawn in Umbral. 
your lantern possesses the ungodly power to cross between worlds. Umbral, the world of the dead, is far more dangerous than Axiom. The longer you stay, the more powerful your enemies become. It's pretty difficult to leave Umbral. You need to find a bonfire checkpoint in order to return to Axiom. Explore both worlds to collect all of the treasures. The game supports online co-op. Invite a second player to join your adventure. Challenge the bosses without using mod. There are more sauce-like games than I can count, but this one offers a unique take on the genre. Moving on to the last part of today's video, which is 3D action games. You'll see some big hits. Here we go. This game's predecessor has 91% positive reviews and surpasses the 0.5 million copies sold. Ghost Runner 2, emerge from Dharma Tower and explore the wasteland beyond. The game is richer and broader than the previous title. It also has some motorbike fights and for good measure, drivers interactive environments, including the exploding barrels, destructible walls. Check it out, if you don't get motion sickness, that is. Next we have Metal Gear Solid. Master Collection. Metal Gear Solid holds a special place in my heart. It means so much more to me than just a game. With cinematic storytelling and meaningful questions the collection poses. Entertaining and meaningful at the same time. The collection is currently region free but who knows. It does not support Chinese language and it is too pricey. Come on Konami, you can do better. Thief Simulator 2. It's been delayed for time since June, making me look like a fool. The developer should consider renaming the name. Delay Simulator 2, hopefully it will release on schedule this time. The previous game released in 2018, had 85% positive reviews. Thief Simulator 2 adds a ton of new elements, such as drones, dogs, ADM, and even pickpocketing. From petty theft, to security hacking heist, become a legendary thief. Next we have some huge hits. These games aren't available on Steam, but they deserve to be on today's list. Alan Wake 2, the highly anticipated sequel to the psychological horror. Third-person shooter will be available on Epic and consoles next month. Alan Wake will return as the protagonist. You can also play as an FBI agent named Saga Anderson. She arrives in town to investigate a string of ritualistic murders. Anderson's case spirals into a nightmare when she discovers pages of a horror story that links to Alan Wake. Of course there is more to it. There is also an FBI agent with the same name in Quantum Break. According to Remedy, the game shares the same universe with the other game. Control plus Remedy tends to use the same voice actors and face models. The Remedyverse is getting more interconnected and complex than we think. If you are new to the series, you'll be surprised by the game's technical performances. In the latest trailer, Remedy mixes game graphics and live-action cutscenes with character and texture details. Whether you are a returning player or new to the series, you should definitely check out Alan Wake 2. The media coverage of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is extensive. There are so many YouTube videos talking about this game. The PS5 exclusive will run at 30 and 60 FPS, while supporting variable refresh rate displays at 120 Hz. So the game gets to tailor everything to best utilize the tech. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 will also let you adjust combat speed. The players can choose to slow down the action to 70%, 50% or 30% of the full speed. The feature will also allow us to return to the default speed at the tap of a button. Besides graphics and controls, the game will feature 19 iconic Spider-Man characters, combining both familiar and new faces. The recent gameplay review Peter Park's new black Spidey suit with the Venom symbiote, along with 14 other suits. The game will also feature UI, font, and accessibility options. At current state, the game will very likely to be nominated for Best Games at Major Game Awards. The release date is just one month away. Let's hope for more gameplay reveals before then. Don't miss out on this one if you are a Spidey fan. Last but not least, Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft's signature game series. Mirage will leave the mythological trilogy behind and bring back to its serious roots. The game will feature stealth assassination and a new wanted system. There's no XP-based progression. You can steal upgrade Basim's abilities by assigning skill points on skill trees. But that would only upgrade Basim's skills and abilities. I've heard that you cannot unlock all skills. The progression is linear and driven by the story. In addition, Mirage's map is smaller than the 
one featured in the mythology trilogy, which is principally set in 9th century Baghdad and a countryside area outside the city walls. Unlike the previous titles, Mirage will only take you roughly 20 hours to complete. That can go up to 25 to 30 hours for the completionists. As for combat, Basim won't be dismembering people or lopping off heads. He can mark a series of targets before quickly murdering them in a series of lightning fast takedowns, moving so quickly that it appears to the human eye as if he's teleporting. There's just an element of arrogance in his fight flourishes, especially with his quirky sword moves. And lastly, the game is a coming of age story, follows the transformation of a defiant young man into a refined master assassin with a conflicted destiny. In short, Mirage is definitely the AC game I've been waiting for, even though we often make jokes about Ubisoft, but AC Mirage might bring some new perspectives. So these are the games I am looking forward to in October. Next month will be packed with high profile titles, and we have TGS in December. So, what's your most anticipated game of October? Thanks for watching. See you next month. Butters, get all the way.